Nyabruk Nation. Zid, I would come out and give you a small video today. It's a very beautiful day here in South Carolina. It's sun. Love me. It's bright. Beauty of the sun is out. And everything. Kind of give you a little view of everything that's going on here. Zachin, his children. And those children get the wood and the wife and all because it's cold here now it is quite cold it's cold the garden is still producing we're eating collards and things i tell you these carrots here and each one of these bins we have we have five bins and they have at least 250 75 carrots in each one and uh, we're eating plenty of kale. We'll be eating um, these collards. We'll be eating these when we get a nice frost on these. But let me show you. I'll tell you the broccoli and things, cauliflowers. We'll be eating these next week. Look at those collards. Beautiful. And someone asked a question, what do you do with the leaves? Well, you can eat them. I love the leaves on broccoli better than I like broccoli. I like the leaves. Look at these cauliflowers. I'll pick these tomorrow. Cauliflowers, broccoli, and all of these wonderful things we can eat. We're preparing already for the garden, for the, for the spring. We won't till the soil, but we do grow. Every seven years, we will, um, we will, um, we will re do, do everything in beds. That's a beautiful broccoli. Look at that. It is so beautiful. The cabbages, oh, these are what we call sh uh, the charmettes. And these are hard and ready to eat. Uh, these are ready to eat. Enjoy them. We're going to do this. Just enjoy the beauty for your grants unto us. And prepare everything for next year. We can grow as we prepare for the mo uh, the feast days, Pesach. I'll do a teaching this week on that as well, concerning the falsehood of the days and how we have been beguiled. Our leaders that were older, by a certain paradigm, they didn't know. They did not have, I don't want to say they did not have the ability to distinguish in things because many of those that look like me, uh, not all of them, they were very uneducated men in the sense the resources were not as plentiful as it is today for us. They were not taught how to read in school. My years of school and my younger years, we did not have the facility like Caucasian children had. We would get the books that they had been cycled at least three, four times, and we would get them. And so we were behind schedule when it came to certain things of learning. And uh, we did not have that. So I'm out here today among all of these wonderful fruit and garden. In the garden, look at this. Let me give you another view. I'm. This is going to be a short video. I just want to insight. Uh, the broccoli and things. Ah, uh, this is so wonderful. I love eating these fresh vegetables. I do. I love eating. There go the children. Zakin, yeah, Ramayas children. Shalom, shalom. Yabruk. And uh, growing the food is wonderful. It's so wonderful that we can grow our own food. Uh, and someone asked the question, are you all self-sufficient? Well, I tell you what, we won't go hungry here. If you want to eat, old folks will say goats, meat, or whatever, we can eat that. We can eat lamb, we can fish from our ponds, we can butcher cows. 
This is the greenhouse. I'm getting this ready for starting to plant here. Uh, um, the first of next year. So I'll put, I can put in here, we can put in this greenhouse. It's junky. I can put, we're putting new lights up and all of that to grow. I can put, uh, I can put 4,000 plants in here at a time. And I built all of this. Yawasadok built the greenhouse, he and I. Uh, the Achim helped do the flooring and all of that. And uh, we can grow as much as we need. 4,000 plants, you say, that's not much for that many people. Well, you will be surprised. This is it here. I can walk out of my office door and come here and just enjoy this. We grow in these bins here as well. We're going to do quite a bit of those. We have, uh, I paid $2 a piece for these. And those bins, they are paid $30 a piece. And I cut them in half. And along the school, we will have everything we need to eat for daily meals and things. And that's how we will do it. And that's how we do it. It's cold here. You can see how the uh, how every house has smoke. That's my little house. Smoke coming out. The ball of the smoke is rolling. Very beautiful here. It's a very beautiful place. You know, I say to people, you will have to come and visit to see how beautiful it is. It's very beautiful. I'm in my military gear. I'm ready for the battle. Battle. I am. So, just enjoy the beauty. All the leaves are. Many of them have fallen. The trees. Let me show you. See how the leaves are falling. Everything. Beautiful today. I'll take one little walk because I want to check on a building that we are remodeling. My core pond here. I love this. I love my fish. And I need to drop just a little in that, in this place. But I haven't fed them. Once they start getting cold, you don't feed them. And uh, this is, I can't see them. The water is clear and crystal clear. I may drop something here tomorrow. And as soon as all the leaves fall off, I will take all of this off. All of it. Our children have places to play and we fellowship out here and have barn fires and things like that. Yes, we do. I marveled at my little house, $1,500. Oh, here, Billy sold me, the, sold me that. He says to me, I said, what are you going to do with that building? He said, well, I think I'm going to make something like a big house. You want it? I said, what do you want for it? I said, I can tear it down. He said, no, 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 no. He said, when I got married, my wife and I lived in that. What do you want for one? So when I went inside, I said, this will make a nice little house for my issue and I. And so I purchased that little house for 1500 I did. You're always, always giving me favor with people here. Some of the craziest white folks you want to meet, but they don't play with me, no one. You don't laugh or nothing? I don't play games, sir. Ma'am, that's not my forte. I recall being in the military, and I was in during the era of the Vietnam War. You must understand the Vietnam War began in 1964. So every soldier that went in between 1964 and 1974, Vietnam, era vets. And... Um, During those days, we tend, tended to be very, we were close with each other. We really were. The soldiers, we kept in touch with each other. 
And those that I was in that with, bro, Will, he, uh, he became a teacher. He went to Tuskegee University. T.K. Tucker, that was my closest of friends. He became a, like a private eye detective. Don Juan, man, well, he was running, running heron from Mexico to Miami, no telling what happened to him. But those were the type men that, that was my, they, they were my associates. And, uh, of course, debating, and we did that quite frequently. And um, we didn't play games with each other. We had a very sober type of mentality. And uh, me being the southern boy I was, I loved to tangle with anyone. Because I was very athletic. Basketball. I played all sports. Boxer, I could box with the best of them. And there was one by the name of Herb, Herbert Ziegler, or Herb. And uh, we, I didn't play games with no one. And old Herb, he, he, he wanted to play games like a clown. And so I recall, you didn't play the dozens back then. I said, I, I, we called him Zig. I said, Zig, I want to tell you. I don't play with anyone. If you want to play to her, right home to your mama and tell her to send you one. Well, you didn't say that. Play the dozens back then. Mm mm. What you say, boy? I said, if you want to play toy, you write home to your mom and tell her to send you one. And he was ready to do me in. And so there was a crisis in his family. We didn't make. I, can I tell you how much money I was making back then? Two hundred eighty-six dollars a month. That's no money. And that was the crisis. His mother was broke. She needed some help. And I was a loan shark. And especially with the Caucasian boys, if I loan you 100, there's two back, two bills, two balls. And, uh, and they knew I had money because I kept money. I knew how to make, I was a hustler. Gambling, dices, you could beat me at that. I knew how to do things. And so he comes to me and say, bro, Rob, can I borrow two, 100? My mother needs some help. Now, this is the same one was ready to fight me. I say, sure, Zig, what do you need? Here. He said, I know what you charge. He said, I'll pay your money back. I'll give you two bills back. I said, no, no. I said, I'll tell you what, homie. You hold on to that. If I need it, I know where to find it. And that's... Those things I get very emotional about. I cry easily. We're working in this building to try to get it ready. We're going in. Let me see. Where are the lights? I don't come in these buildings. They fellowship without me. So... Oh, this is looking nice now. We took the carpet up and everything. Let me show you. So we're in the process of redesigning this building. And just put the new blinds in and everything. And it fixes up for fellowship. And just enjoy each other. And... Uh, We'll come family nights and things like that. This looks pretty nice now. It was a lovely place. And what I did, I went out to the Habitat Resale and purchased carpet for with the, because the carpet had been here for many years. And we built this building. I and Dakim, we laid the blocks. And the windows, I would tell you, they were just old windows we found uh, at a salvage place. They're all windows. And uh, well, this is so beautiful. The brother, I can put that up for the, for the blinds and everything. And these just all wooden windows. You see that? I think we found them. Someone was throwing them away. 
And we, we took advantage of that. We didn't have money when we came here, so we took advantage of everything. But it's a very beautiful building. The old carpet, I bought that at the Habitat, Habitat Resale. And I didn't give the man much for it. But uh, it will be suffice. And all of this furniture, I, I know how to decorate things. And I'll leave after the first of the year by Ishio and I will buy new furniture, used new. We'll come in here and get everything ready for the winter, for the, for the fellowship and everything that we will have. Somebody wants to do something today. Pause. It's very nice out here. It's cold. It's cold, but it's very nice. I wanted to check that out and take you for the walk as I looked at that. And I'll go back this way here. Go back through our garden yards. That's where we bury the bodies. These are the ones that have died here. Deck in back here where we used to play basketball all the time on this court right here. I was a monster. I love me some basketball. In places we come, this is Teshua Garden of Rest here. Teshua Garden of Rest. A graveyard. Cemetery. I'm appalled at how it look. I want to clean it up and fix it up. Radio Tower. We have a radio station here. I know I've said it on previous videos. But all these graves makes my heart cry. Zakin Yoramiya's father and all buried here. Bishop Banks. That's Bishop Banks. Born in 1925, 25. Here's his shell, his wife. He's here too. Which one is hers? She was born in 7 5 1912. So, man had an assembly. And he hurt me in all of my ignorance from Delaware. He gave up that assembly and he moved here to help me, to be with me. Very beautiful old man. He was. I remember the day he died. It was a Shabbat evening. And Akim sat around the clock with him. He loved me. There are not that many men that love me, too many people. Uh, places of fellowship, the children we come. We come out here and we just have fun. Got everything for our big barn fire. We just come. We've gotten this ready to put some chickens in there. Greenhouse that we used to grow food in. This place here. We grew food here. And certainly our swimming pool for our children. See that smoke coming out of that chimney? That's a shower house. We, we did not have the facilities in every home when we came here. So we built shower houses. They could bathe and everything. We could have performances there on the uh, deck. And that's what we do. Someone pass. We bring them here. We just have the service back here. We don't take them in the tabernacle. We try to bear them the next day. And this is our latest death. This little, a little baby girl here. So we understand death is a part of life.
13 graves. And of course, one day I'll lay in there. That's the reality. I think I love this kind of lifestyle. I'm never by myself. Never. One of those days, it's cold out here. I want to go home. But uh, my Isha and Zakin, his Isha, the children, they want to purchase the things that we need. And I put together one message and worked on another one. And so the other ones, they, the Hakim and their families, basically, I was here with the elderly daughters. But I enjoy being home. I enjoy being home. Look at the houses. I can see how it's just flowing with, with smoke. That's going to be a chicken house, so we can get in there and uh, pull the things out. Let me go through here. I got to see. I basically built that little building by myself here. I can't do it like I used to. I was a monster. And so this little building here, I basically built by myself. We have a very beautiful piece of land, nation. We, it is in disrepair, but we're going to get it going. And put some egg layers here, chickens. Yep. That's something that's been in here. No. Oh. And all of this stuff here, these boxes and things. I could find things so easily back then. People would preach, you want to buy this? I would buy just to buy it for a little of nothing because there's nothing that is trash. I knew I could use it at some time. So I haven't shown you the junkyard and all that, but I'll get over there. I want you to see that and the junk. I throw nothing away. If it's metal, nothing. That's what it is. We got piles of metal and anything we need, we can find it. I don't care what we need to do. We can find what we need around here. Uh, this is important too, because as I said before, we have our own wells. Let me show you, some of y'all don't know what a well house looks like. This is a well house. This is where we Feed it. This well right here you're looking at. The old white boy that did this well for us. He charged me 3500 And um, he said to me, preacher, he said that well because I wanted him to drill us another one. And he said... I mean, I'll drill it if you want me to, but you don't need another well because that well alone gives in the excess of 125 gallons a minute. He said, you put water at every house from this well. You all can't shower at the same time, but it's more than enough. And these are grounds that are known for the volume of water. It's water here. And we have wells, our own wells. We have our own power generator that will, whatever it is without power, we have power. And we have another well, I'll show you that on the other side, very pristine water. And what we did, we ran pipes all the way from the other well on this side. So we got that well and that well that supplies us with water. And our dining hall up here have a well you talking about Deer Park water. You have to understand that Deer Park water is here in South Carolina, about 35 miles from me, us here. When you go in the storm by that Deer Park water, it's coming from here. 
There is a tremendous amount of water on the ground here in this area. And uh, there's gold here. The gold company wanted me to uh, let these reticents, uh, these, uh, what did they call that? But they would, they could detect on the ground the volume of gold. And we just sold an old uh, bulldozer. I like the white boy. When I call a white boy, I say, when I call a white boy, white boy, I like you. And I told him the story that just here on our land, we could have had every year they would give us a $10,000 check. And so at that time, I knew a person that was assistant district state. She was, uh, she, what was she? She was assistant secretary of state, not secretary of state, but the, the attorney general of Virginia. And I said, let me see the contract because I was going to send it to her and let her look over everything. He came back two days later and said, well, well, we don't want to utilize your land. And so this person I sold the bulldozer to, he... We discuss things and we talk. He's a very, very kind person. They pay him because of the machinery he drives. He pay, I think he makes sixty-five or one hundred dollars an hour. That's what he makes here. I can't say exactly. And he said to me, he said, preacher, if they wanted to put those detectors in the soil here, he said, that's gold here. Plenty of gold. And this is an area that gold is everywhere. But I said, no, you're not going to buy our land. That was a time when the, uh, when the Canadians owned it. They have sold everything to the Australians now. You will have to see that city out there, the gold mine. It is some gigantic place. They buy up everything. They buy every house. They don't even want the houses. They tell you, you can have the house, take that, and buy you another piece of land. And that's what a lot of people have done. Got the money, move their homes, or just leave the house because of the kind of money they were getting. But they're not going to get this. I wanted to just conversate with you today for a moment. Gardening season is here. The leaves will use everything right here for our garden it's next year. Everything here will be used. Everything. Look at these wonderful greens. I tell you, I love these. Spicy. I love to take these and eat them. I eat all of this raw. These are, these are mustard greens. And I'm telling you, they're delicious. I take them and wrap whatever I'm eating in that. And they're so wonderful. I love the spinach leaves. Shalom, Makio. Gavaruk. I love the spinach leaves and everything. And uh, I eat these. These are so delicious. I just come out here and break them off. And then I do this. Mm. I love them. I don't need them cooked. Just raw, sweet, and just delicious. Mm. We're ready to eat you. Mm. Look at this big cabbage. Look at that head. Ouch. It's getting too chilly for me now. I am going, and I'm an old man. I feel it in my bones. But this is our community, our homes. We enjoy everything here. This was a large community. One day I'll show you the next video. I'll show you how many people lived here. Got a picture of the whole community. Those are my little grandbabies.
I'll show you the picture of how many people lived in this community. Yep. All around this road here, their houses. This road go all the way, up, way around the community. And on the other side, let me show you that and I'm going to close. But on this other side, you see this big barn over here? I'll make this one short, but there's a large barn. We built this barn from just straps of old tin that we would buy. We tore down a schoolhouse in Jefferson. Well, we could uh, we could build that. And so the grandbaby's out raking the yard for nanny. You know, and everything fixed up, raking the leaves and all of that. That's our Sarah yard. And that's uh, that weed and all. But that Sarah yard, she's shy and she pretending. Say shalom, everyone. I'm Sarah. I'm Sarah. Shalom, Sarah. And that's my, I like to knock his head in. I, I don't like him. He's the only son on all those daughters. He got, he got one son and all daughters. Precious son he is. But they love puppy. They do all my work for me. All I got to do is call them. But this side here, we'll take you over there. See that big building over there, that big barn? So all those buildings, houses were over there. We had people on every side. Big old workshop, everything. Cars that you just take one. And down this road here, we have a machine to do all of our roads and everything, but we just, the Achim, Wasserdach at time doesn't have time. You can see, I give you a view. Down this road is nothing but houses. We have our own laundry room, what they do. You bring your clothing and you wash. On certain days, you miss a bay and all of them. See the houses back here. We have another shower house back there. These are homes in here. You miss a bay lives there, Zakin, yeah. Ramaya lives here. They're home. She's an old mother. She's been with me oh, for 40 years. So better. And she moved here with me. And that's... We'll see. I'm going in after this. Zakin's home here. But uh, that's, that's a shower house there. The big building. And on the end, that's, it's a laundry room. Washing machines and all of that. We'll go down a little bit. There go my Seria. And my weed. I like to fight him because I just punch him in his nose. My issue takes up for him, but I don't. I will punch him in his face. That's hers. She will not let me beat him up. Until we have homes and everything all back through here. Little areas for the children. I need to get them some more th playing things this year, next year. But that's what we have here places to cook, grill. There's another place. Let me take you up there. Then I'll go in the back door. Hallelujah. All right now, preacher. You know you can't do it like you used to. That was the time I just jumped over there. And this is part of our dining facility here. This is the shower house here. No one really use it. But when we have guests, they come the feast days. They can use this. This is that's Imbra Rafael that raking and sweeping her leaves. But this is part of the dining facility here. On this side, so the daughters cook and everything. And that's the men's side.
this side is for the daughters of Tizayun. So we have a huge boiler here. This is a boiler where we can heat and everything when we need that. And this is the side for the daughters here. This is the chufim. This is the bath. We got to fix that. This is the daughters. Need a new paint job. Things like that. This is a walk-in freezer. A cooler here. Homes here. You watch the doc working on his home to beautify it in little places. Like these little buildings we would have when tabernacle people could sleep in there, especially the older ones. Elderly one. They get that well house door fixed. And this is the uh, laundry room here. Where everyone goes in and they do their laundry. I haven't been in here in years, but that's the laundry room with washers and dryers. And uh, that's another well. Where we get water. This is the well we drink from. And this one here. And this is our freezer here. Everything we're gonna add to this. But this is a freezer. Here. Well food. The whole freezer is packed too. But this is what we used to can. We don't can like we used to. And then this is another place where the daughters cook. We have a big event. We can cook for hundreds of people. They come in here and state-of-the-art things, Shabbat stove and all of that. And this, this is what they use. This is an oven here. Gas oven, all this is gas. See, it's a Shabbat stove. They can cook everything we need. And this is a, we built this to bake bread. There's nothing wrong with it. But this is what we built to bake our own bread. All wood burning. Everything by wood. And that's what we do. But this, was, this is a wood baking stone. And these were my first grills. This one here, this is a monster here. This grill here. I have cooked a plenty. Let me see. They still use this one. I don't come up here and use this grill. I have cooked a plenty on this. We had everything. Grills, all of these are my grills. I use them for everything. You see that? I would come out here and cook. Cook. I would cook for... Um, I would do everything. I love cooking. And this was a dehydrator. We would dehydrate food and things in that. And that's what we would do. We're getting all this restored. In Cloth House, that one building is a storage. We got plenty of food. And this is what? This is the storage. Let me... You see what we have here? This is a storage. I got these buildings, I think I paid a little nothing for them all. Sweet, we got sweet potatoes. It lasts us to next year. See that? See all the jars and things we have? All of these jars. See that? All of that. And on the other side, you will see we got jars and jars that we can like this. That's what we did. Look at those yams. Look at them. Yes, indeed. That's the way we did things. And uh, this didn't come in a year or two. This is over the span of time. I've been here 27 years, March of next year. You all have to forgive me, my... I've been here that long, my Ema and I. We were the first ones to move. And it was a while before anyone moved down here. 
And that's how we did. We got the pores of the families. The, the one thing I first did when I would, even in general, I would take it right off welfare. and have nobody. No, you're not going to be on welfare. And this is a room what we would dehydrate in. I built this little building by myself. We dehydrate in there. We would, we could dehydrate everything. Uh, I'm not gonna try to run the leaves in the way, but you can see the, you can see, let me see, you can see the uh, table, well, you can't see. But this is a dehydrator right here. This is a garbage house where we bring all of our garbage. And we take it to the municipality uh, once a week. And that's what we do. Dining facility here must come here to eat. And our dining facility must come here. Everyone, whether you eat or not, you're coming. So this is our dining facility here. Again, you've seen it, but still. And the young ones just sit out here and just play at times. And this is our dining facility. We all come to eat. Everyone. Rosemary and things. And so, this is Teshu community. Beautiful place. Lovely, lively place. And this is where our children come to learn. This is where Imra Fair sits and teach. They got everything they need. They all have their own laptops and all of that. We're just getting Wi-Fi. The matter of fact, we're in the other day. And then we will put up a system a, uh, what is that? We got this mesh type of disc and it will supply Wi-Fi throughout the whole community. And this is our history here. How long for all by? We're going to say to you, all my friends, Yabaruch, it's cold here in Jefferson. You all have a pleasant evening and enjoy the riches of Yah. Yorkshire, don't be a part of this pig in law coming up. Don't even eat their food if they offer it to you. All right? I say to you all, my friends and listeners, Yabaruk Shalom.